Vulture City anymore. <laughs> you should have left with the others. You brought this on yourself, trying to be a hero. Safe. Thanks, Batman. I thought they were going to The city's overrun. We don't stand a chance. Stay here. I'll send someone to pick you up. What are you doing? Evening the odds. We're done for. <laughs> That military vehicle. A squad car has picked up the pursuit. I'm relaying its location now. Call off your men. Golf Oscar 5 6, this is Commissioner Gordon. I'm calling off the pursuit. It's too dangerous. Sir, we're right here. We can take these bastards. Nothing to say to you, Batman. Talk, or I'll crush every bone in your body. Okay, okay. He's working out of a penthouse in Chinatown. I swear that's all I know. If you're lying, I'll break the other one. The other one? Ah! Oracle, check the chemical analysis I've just uploaded. Sure. Is this what I think it is? Scarecrow's new toxin. An uncontaminated sample. You're not kidding. I'll 
prepare a full chemical breakdown on the back computer. What are you going to do? Scarecrow's got a safe house nearby. I'm going to pay him a visit. Let's hope this is the break we've been waiting for. Hello boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, this is uh, Defub21, I uh, hope you just enjoyed those first few minutes of uh, gameplay footage of the just uh, re on, well, on Steam on the recently unlocked uh, Batman Arkham Knight. Um, right off the bat, it looks, for the most part, looks great, as you can see in the settings here, I've got uh, various things uh, set on and I'm going to set off. Um, I have, however, come across, well, firstly, if you look at it, it says texture resolution. That only goes as far as normal. Maybe there's a texture pack you can download or something, but uh, they can get it higher, but I haven't found that yet. Um, there's nothing to, uh, there's no fine-tuning for anti-aliasing. V-Sync is only on or off. Um, shadow quality only goes as far as high. Level of detail only goes as far as, as, far as high. Now these are NVIDIA GameWorks. Um, I can I haven't tried turning any of those on yet to see what impact they would have on performance. Um, but the two things that come to mind: one, the available settings that are not NVIDIA are pretty bare bones. There's no ability to select what kind of anti-aliasing you're using. Um, the shadow qu uh, settings only go as far as high, level of detail only goes as far as high, texture resolution only goes as far as normal. There doesn't appear to be an option to uh, uh, to go any further than that. Uh, actually, even more importantly, if you're looking at the top left-hand corner of the screen, the frame I'm using uh, NVIDIA Shadow Play, and as far as it's concerned, the frame rate never goes above 30, 31 frames a second. I turned off VSync to see if that would have an effect. It didn't, which may seem to indicate the game is locked um, at 30 frames or thereabouts and can't go any higher. I mean, as you can say here, text resolution set to normal uh, requires a 3 gigabyte graphics card or greater. I have a, a GTX 970, 4 gigs of RAM. It should be able to handle at these kind of settings for you know 60 frames a second, certainly much better than 30. Now it's pretty solid at 30 and very kind of predictable at it, but for a PC game and for the kind of PC master race, as it's uh, known in some quarters, there's a shocking lack of customization. Nothing like what you saw in uh, Witcher 3 or in Grand Theft Auto 5, which are kind of the other two big, high-profile open-world sandbox type games that have come out. Uh, so far this year before this game and quite frankly I would imagine uh, I would imagine uh, ATI or AMD as they are now known they cannot be uh, impressed at all uh, by what we're seeing here which is that the NVIDIA game works which is completely proprietary stuff it's completely closed you can't get access to the base code to tweak it or anything or find out what's wrong if it's not working properly on your graphics card, um, and as a, a, certainly the versions of it that are available, hair works, whatever they call it again, in a, Witcher 3 is a massive resource, resource hog. Right now they're all turned off, but the fact that, that, that they're so prominent here, like literally these are all the graphics options I've so far found, and just literally just about halfway through, you've got this big kind of NVIDIA GameWorks logo, and then these, these kind of four settings and it seems to be just on or off and that's literally it and considering how badly the nvidia game works uh, stuff tends to perform on amd slash ati hardware i'd be very uh, uh potentially quite unhappy if i were in an amd slash ati gamer particularly taking into account the fact that there seems to be little in the other way of kind of customization um, I don't think, I've certainly not seen any evidence of a uh, 
day one patch maybe that's coming that will give more options for the PC version. But right now, you know, you know, locked to 30 frames per second. Oh, and I wait to here. Resolution. Yes, there does not appear to be an option to increase it above 1080p. Although that could be down to the fact that I was just registering that I'm hooking this up to my TV, which is 1080p only. But even so, it looks good. But uh, I, I can only imagine this will outrage, outrage a considerable number of people. And it again is likely to put uh, NVIDIA or uh, NVIDIA ATI in a rather uncomfortable position because if there is no way to increase the frame rate to 60 fps if it's permanently locked at 30 someone like myself at 30 frames per second someone like myself with a gtx 970 i may well be able to actually turn on some of these nvidia game work settings and leave them on and still get a steady 30 frames per second which uh, has the potential to be very bad for amd slash ati because these these things tend to run very badly on ATI hardware, and it could mean that everyone has got NVIDIA, a decent NVIDIA chip like a, a card like I do, could be running this game no more than 30 frames because they're not allowed to run faster than 30 frames a second with all of these game work settings on and still get 30 frames a second and the game look fantastic. And anyone who's got an AMD or a slash ATI card tries doing the same because they just don't run well on that. Uh, on ATI, on the AMD slash ATI kit, and because NVIDIA does not, you know, allow access to the kind of base code for this game work stuff, which means there's no way to tweak the drive NVIDIA ATI slash AMD's drivers to get better performance with these uh, game work stuff, could leave them really in a kind of bad position. So it's more potentially more quite scummy behavior when you use that term by NVIDIA, but uh, it looks great. The J's is only 30 frames per second maximum. I mean, if anyone knows how to get it up to 60 in the in the options, let me know in the comments. Any other observations is what I could do. Maybe, have to, maybe there's a, some free DLC content I can download to get better textures or something. Again, let me know uh, in the comments. And if you like this video, uh, please uh, like the video and subscribe to my channel for more Arkham Knight content and other content on the games. This is Defub21 uh, signing off. Toodaloo.